Hi everybody, my name is Gary and welcome to the Outdoor POV. Today we're in Keswick and we're going to do the, um, well the Keswick Mountain Festival is coming up soon and part of the Keswick Mountain Festival, lots of races, hikes, etc, activities, but they do an Adidas Turex uh, 25k trail race. So they do loads of uh, trail races actually, 5k, 10k and I think they even do an ultra. So, and they all start and finish at uh, Crow Park. So I thought I'd come over and film it and hopefully it gives you guys a feel of what to expect on the race. But my goodness me, on a sunny day, what a spot. You've got dirt and water behind you, little cat bells, um, cozy pike, and then you've got, you know, you know, back there. Awesome spot, and on a sunny day, <laughs> you know, you'd be hard pushed to find uh, somewhere nice to spend a few hours. So hopefully the footage is good and you enjoy it and it gives you a good idea what to spec expect on the day lovely trails um, and if you do like it please give it a thumbs up if you think somebody else might like it then please share it and if you'd like to see more content from the outdoor POV then please subscribe so we kind of left the cool park went through some woods and then cross over a road, oh, Mr. Woodpecker. And then, yeah, immediately, well, you're going on quite a sharp hill. Well, you place an all, although you saw that first hill. And I must admit, I thought we were going straight up it. But you don't go straight up it. <laughs> and you just start dropping down again, which looks like you can see Keswick again through the woods. And off we go. Morning. Hello, hello. Nice views of cat bells. Just got skid all the other way, and I suppose we're going to be heading up to Castle Rig. Today I'm wearing the Trailfly G260 or 270s, I can't remember that last number, but they're a four millimeter lug, so I wouldn't say they're overly grippy, quite cushioned, at least so far in today's conditions, quite good for these trails. Had a nice night in Keswick last night, went in the round, had a burger and chips, which was sensational. Um, stayed at the YG in Keswick too, so that was good. Then got out quite early on the trails. Yeah, it's a beautiful wood this called Great Wood so gives you quite a bit of shelter actually if it's a hot day lots of uh, you can hear the noise of lots of running water and with a lake on your side it's spectacular and today with the light we've got it's such a treat it's just opened up so it'll be a great chance to showcase this outdoor active app that I use when I'm out and about on the trails. This skyline feature, I love it so much, it's brilliant. So you can just see there, you know, as you pan the skyline, it's picking out things like Cat Bells, Causey Pike, Grisdale Pike, things like that. It's pretty awesome um, when you're out on the trails. They do look sometimes like they're not exactly 100% on the summit, but I'll take that. It's not too bad. High Spy over there too. You know, it's got all the topo maps. You don't just have to do the skyline feature. You can use it just like a regular uh, mapping app, which is awesome. Yeah, about four mile in now and um, we're just coming off the trails you know some of those trails i started off saying they weren't that technical and i think um you know it's not for me to say what's technical or not you decide 
uh, I thought there was a mix of things that were quite runnable and yeah some things you really do need to pay attention to otherwise you'll end up flat on your face um, now we're coming to a bit of tarmac actually so about four mile in get a bit of tarmac hopefully you've got something in your legs and you can push on see your Keswick over there skido moving along important scale so we'll end up in there eventually um, but we're just right at the edge of uh, dirt and water now so it's pretty awesome obviously you've got cat bells and stuff over there so this first half of the race you're like treated to pretty epic uh, lakeside views really it'll be interesting to see how it pans out on the other side but yeah that's the end of dirt and water Yeah, I suppose this is where you kind of really start then bearing towards um, Rostway. This is, I'll try and pronounce it, uh, Watend La Tarn. I've probably butchered that, so apologies to anybody. Uh, but yeah, it's not a bad spot, is it? I sometimes take this information with a pinch of salt, but just for the record, we're about seven mile in and my watch is reading nearly 1600 feet of ascent. I'm back on the active route again today and uh, just for the energy really I thought well active route sponsoring the Keswick Mountain Festival so it just was like a good connection and they always say to be honest you know if you're thinking about doing a race check out what nutrition is available on the race and that maybe should be what you train with just for transparency active route sent me some product to use um, which was awesome so thanks for that but they also, which is great for everybody, sent me a discount code. So if you'd like to try out the Active Brew product, look in the description below and uh, you'll see a discount code for Active Brew products. So yeah, check them out. Yeah, well over halfway now um, and according to the elevation profile the second half is a lot easier than the first half so yeah this is Ross Thwaite <coughs> and now we're going to be heading back kind of towards Port Tin scale and uh, we're on the other side of the lake obviously so we we under Cat Bells and High Spy places like that so some different views for you um yeah about eight and a half miles in at this point so like i say well over halfway yeah hopefully you can pick that up on camera it is just crystal clear that water i think that's sometimes it's better when you're walking that you can see these things yeah i wouldn't do this on race day but it's such a nice spot Martin and I decided to take five minutes to have a bite to eat and refuel before we finished off the run. After you leave Rosthwaite, straight back into some lovely woods again and these are gorgeous little woods.
So we've just gone past the start of the uh, 10 k route and it's really wicked how they brought you in from Crow Park, get a little uh, pleasure boat over and then run back through the woods and then I think we will pick up the same route eventually all the way to Port and Scale. Oh, that's kind of, thanks very much, just really coming to the end now, I think we've got about a mile and a half to go. And according to my watch, we've done 2,400 feet of elevation. And this section of the run is part of the Bob Graham Road. Free summer of Skiddo, that uh, is beautiful. Yeah, back in Keswick now. It was quite nice, they don't really take you to much of the hustle and bustle of Keswick. Just keep around the back of the supermarket there, and then it's just this last path before you get to Crow Park. This is the home straight here, go through this gate and here, straight on a crow park. And that is it. About 16 miles. We've got an elevation, let me just clip through on the watch. My watch says 2,500. And that was awesome, yeah. Hope you liked it. Um, you know, that wasn't, like I say, navigation. We did hands up, I confess we went wrong a few times following GPX on my Garmin Phoenix 6. X. Um, the watch was fine, just I took my eye off it a few times, doing a few twists and wrong twists and turns. But yeah, basically it was pretty spot on. Um, but what it is more importantly, it'll give you a great idea what to expect on the day, maybe what footwear you like to use, looking at the trails, um, the kind of terrain that you've got, the ascent, how technical it is underfoot. That's all I do, it gives you a good feel for what it's like. Yeah, I use the Outdoor Active app. That I thought was really awesome today, picking out the summits. And, and I did use it quite a few times too when we'd gone, we'd gone wrong and I went and jumped on and used their kind of aerial 2D app. Um, it's just to see, just to make sure that everything was okay. So that was good. And like I say, check out the description. There is a discount code. Um, fuel for the day. Oh, yeah, I use the active route because that is what is available on course. I thought that made sense. Um, and I also, when we were down at Rostworth, I had a chair charge bar because I just needed something more solid. So that has been it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps. If you think somebody else might be interested, you know somebody who's taking part thinking about doing the 25k or any of the or the 10k it really gives you an idea of what to expect on the day yeah give it a share to those people that would be really helpful for them and if you'd like to see more content from the outdoor pov then please subscribe really appreciate that you take care uh see you all soon cheers <laughs>